Hello everyone, this is Corey Gill, and I am going to show you how to create this chart in Sierra Charts. This is a volume profile chart, and you can see I have a volume profile for the real-time uh, session, and I have a volume profile for the Globex session, so RTH and Globex. And also on the right, I have a volume profile that represents all the bars on the chart. In this case, we're looking at 30 days and a 15 minute chart. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's uh, have at it. So what I'm going to do is just move this screen out of the way. And now we're left with our Sierra chart main program. And I'm just going to go do new intraday chart. And I want to choose the uh, ES uh, contract here, the U20. And I'm just going to say open. And uh, right away, I want to do just a uh, window detach. So now I get this in a window, so it's, uh, uh, it's kind of floating. It gives us some capabilities versus having it uh, just in here. All right, so this is our standard chart. Um, it's not what we want to see yet, so we're going to figure out how to uh, go change this. I know CR chart can be daunting at first for some users. Uh, once you get used to it, it's uh, pretty cool. So let's just go look at chart settings. So one we want to do is make this candlestick bars. Let's say apply. So now we get candlestick bars. And now I want to make this a 15-minute chart. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, make this 15 minutes and I'm just going to hit uh, OK and now it's a 15 minute chart. Uh, here's a pro tip. Uh, if I just click on a chart, if I were to actually type, I'm just clicked on the chart, if I just type 5M, it makes it a 5 minute chart. If I type 15M, 15 minute chart. So there's a nice cool way that you can see you can switch time frames on your on your charts. Uh, so we're going to use 15 minutes. All right, let's look at the volume profile. So volume profile. So we want to I right click, uh, choose studies. And uh, what we want to do is uh, go ahead and find volume profile. So you can either scroll down and find volume profile or you can actually hit V. Uh, to get to the V's and you can look for volume by price. Double click that and we add it. So now we double click this or we hit the settings button. And here's the settings for this. And the short name for this, let's give it a name. Let's call this RTH because this is our uh, real time hour, our regular trading hours uh, chart. And we're going to look at draw mode. Um, if I just hit apply, um, this, is, this is what you get with the standard uh, volume profile. Um, not quite what we want yet. Uh, we're going to get there. So draw mode. Let's click on draw mode. Let's do volume profiles with point of control, volume, uh, area high, low, and VWAP. Let's click that. And instead of visible bars, uh, we want to choose multiple profiles from start time to end time. Because what we want to do is we want to make this chart use uh, different start time so we say yes and start time we want to make I'm on the Pacific time zone so it's 6 30 a.m. is the start time and the end time uh, let's make this 13 59 59 and uh, different profile for evening session let's make that yes uh, let's see here. Um, let's make this um, see the width percentage. So this is going to capture 70% of all the volume. Uh, let's see. What else do you want to change here? We want to change maximum bar width percentage. Oh, sorry, I, I told you wrong. Let's make the width 100 so it takes up the entire space. Now you can see the volume area percentage is 70%. Uh, that's another value that we want. And also what we want to do is 
Um, let's see. Let's change this to be... Uh, I think this looks good right now. Let's just hit this. Okay. So now you can see we have a, a volume profile now for each day. You can see here it's like one day, real-time hour, regular trading hours. So we're getting closer to, to that. Um, but I don't like the, the colors, and I want to change some of the line styles. So let's go ahead and change that. So one, we're going to do point of control. Um, I like point of control is yellow. Um, I like the area high, the, the high is green. Let's look at the low. Let's make that red. Um, and let's hit apply. Uh, whoops. Um, that didn't take. Let's make this red. There we go. So now we have our, uh, oh, the colors didn't take. I, I hit cancel. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, let's go through here. There we go. So now we have the colors the way we want it. Um, but not quite the look we want yet because these lines kind of draw between each other and I really don't want that. So what we can do is actually change this to be stair step. So if we change all these to be stair step, then what that does is, there you go. It only draws the line. Um, uh, it doesn't draw the line between each uh, different volume profile. And let's make this one scare step as well, because we're showing this one. There we go. So this looks closer to what we want. Um, the color. Um, I wanted to change the color a little bit. So if we actually go here and we change the... Uh, if we go and change the volume outline and fill colors. And so instead of this gray and blue... Um, let's just choose some blue color and I'm just going to kind of guess here. So you want something kind of dark, I think. Um, so I just chose something that was dark and you can choose a slider over here and make it kind of even darker. So you kind of choose a color you like. Let's just do this and see what happens. There we go. So, um, now we're kind of this, uh, uh, this blue color. Maybe we choose something like here and go darker. Uh, hit OK. There we go. So I have this color. Um, uh, maybe we can stick for with this for now, I guess. Um, that's fine. So let's hit OK. So now let's clear this dialog. So now you can see we have a volume profile for each day during the regular trading hours and a VWAP for this. So now what about the Globex hours? Let's create, let's create one for this. So I'll go back to studies. The easiest way is we're going to take this existing study and we're just going to say duplicate and we're going to hit settings or double click. And this one, instead of being RTH, let's call this Globex. And uh, basically the difference between Globex is we want this to start. Um, this starts for, for the Pacific time zone. This starts at 1500. And ends right before uh, regular trading hours. So we're just going to say 629.59. And let's hit apply. Uh, oh no, did this break on me again? Uh, oh man, let's did it again. Um, the dialog, somehow the dialog went behind all these windows and I can't get to it. This is some sort of bug with Sierra. I don't know how to fix this. Um, darn it, I should not have done that. Here we go. Okay, maybe I can get it back. There we go. All right, so we lost uh, whatever we did, but that's all right. Okay, so duplicate. Bring it in. Uh, call this Globex. And we're going to change the start time back to 1500. And it's going to end at 629.59. Let's hit apply. So now you can see we have one that goes for Globex, but the colors are the exact same. So let's go back through here and let's just change the outline. 
And let's change this one to be like a, more of a, let's just choose a, more of a purple color, but make it darker. Uh, I'll show you. If it's too light and we hit OK, uh, you can't really see your price bars, right? So we want to choose a color or a shade that's a little darker. So I just drag this down a little bit and make it a little darker. Hit OK. There you go. And so you can see your charts. And now they look different from the other ones. So we took the existing volume profile we had and uh, changed a little bit. So now we can, uh, let me drag this chart in like this. So now you can see we have a regular trading hours, Globex, and we have a different uh, view app for each one. Uh, pretty easy, right? So now I want to do is change the tools. I want to choose the hand. Uh, it's Alt H, and then I want to drag this over. Uh, this will be apparent in a, in a, a few minutes here um, why I'm doing this. So next thing I want to do is add a uh, another volume profile. Uh, let's move that down. Okay, so now I have a volume profile. So I want this to be actually. Um, Uh, I could have copied the previous one, but we're just going to start from scratch. Um, so we're going to choose again the uh, Vine Profile with POC. And now instead of visible bars, we want to do all bars and charts. So this basically shows you the volume profile for everything. Um, I'm going to hit apply. And you can see it, put it way over here. It's probably on the right or whatever. So. Um, let's just set this. So now we have set as independent uh, for the chart. What this does is say, hey, this just applies independently. So let's hit apply. And now you see it shows up over here, uh, which is cool. Um, but it doesn't look, this doesn't look great to me. Um, so what I want to do is uh, change a few things here about um, the way it looks. So I think the way we do this is actually, instead of the draw method being a filled bar, let's make this a hologram. I'll hit apply. So this is what a hologram looks like. Um, and the other thing we want to do is um, we want to change this to be color-coded. Let's make it color-coded. And highlight the high, low, sure. So now we got color coded, um, but it's too big. So let's do something where we um, set the width of this thing to only take up a certain amount of space. Um, so the way we want to do that There we go. So the way we want to do that is go up here to uh, maximum bar with percentage. Where is that at here? Uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking. See, I'm not. I'm not perfect at this either, right? So sometimes you have to hunt around uh, to find it. Here we go. So instead of taking up 70% of the width of the window, let's just set this to be like 10%. There you go. Now it only takes up 10% of the window size. So now it's on the side. Uh, now it's on the side. Only takes up 10%. So let's hit. Let's hit OK. OK. So now remember we still have the hand tool, so we can draw this. This only takes up 10%. So another thing you can do is go to the chart and you can say lock fill space. So now when you draw things, it uh, it, it will kind of respect this uh, this side here. So if I were to just drag this down in and get more parts. Uh, not too, not too much. Um, oh, I still have the lines here. I need to get rid of. Uh, let me show you that. So let me get rid of this lock fill space. So we have the lines being drawn here. So let's go back to the studies. Um, so the other thing to do here on this all bars. Let's double click this. So this is good. So this one right now, I see the the lines are drawn here. Uh, if we just change this to be um, zero we can't remove them because uh, they don't want to ignore them i'll show you why in a second here uh, we're going to get to this uh, let's make them zero uh, zero 
and zero. And now if I hit apply, um, those should have gone away. Oh, we still have this one here. So, um, mm -hmm. we're getting there. Stick with me. Oh, I this didn't stick. Uh, zero. Oh, there we go. Uh, something didn't stick last time. So if I click this, apply, make that one go away. I click this and apply zero. But I want labels. So I want labels on the side here because I like to know where the levels are at. So for this one is the all bars and chart. So actually we go here, we could actually say the short name is, you know, we can just call this like all bars. Um, but if we go to subgraphs, we can actually do a name label. And this one, the name label, we're going to call this like value area low dash like all. Uh, this one, value area high all. And show the label. And this one is going to be called point of control poc all. And show the name label. There we go. See, now you have the, the levels over here, um, which is cool. So I like that. Um, so if you like that, it's cool. And then actually for the, maybe go back to settings. So for the, maybe for Globex, you don't want the labels. Maybe for the you know, regular trading hours, um, maybe what we do is we just call this one just regular POC. Show the name. Uh, value area high. Show the name. Uh, value area low, show the name, hit apply, there we go. So now you can see, uh, actually I could have labeled the VWAP as well, I suppose. Uh, let's do that, let's go back in, studies, real time. Okay, uh, here's VWAP, VWAP, name label. Okay, and let's change the all bars, VWAP, VWAP. And we'll call it all so we can tell the difference. There we go. So now we have the, the VWAP and VWAP all um, should be showing down here. Uh, why is VWAP all is green? Um, okay. So uh, now we have a chart that looks pretty good. We have our... Uh, uh, we have our volume profile for the all the bars on the chart. We have our uh, regular trading hours and extended uh, Globex trading hours uh, colors on here. And that's, we're pretty close. So let's, let's add a couple other things on here. One thing that's kind of cool when you have a time-based chart is just look at uh, countdown timer. So if we add a countdown timer, um, move that down. And we can also have a clock, real-time clock. Let's add that and just hit OK. Uh, it's kind of weird. You have to click these and they, they put them all in the same spot. So um, click it once and you kind of drag it and uh, click this one here. We can kind of see the time, uh, uh, the time of day. It's after midnight for me. It's like uh, 1208 and the time remaining for the, uh, you know, the 15 minute bar. Uh, this will get better during real time hours, but now we have a chart. Uh, bring this one back in. Uh, we have a chart that looks pretty close to what we created over here. You can play with the colors a little bit and make it the same. Um, but yeah, so now we've created this chart. So hopefully this lesson has helped you learn a little about Sierra, uh, how to customize some of the indicators, and how to add labels on the side, uh, some shortcut keys, and yeah, so you're off and running. So uh, yeah, good luck in trading, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up. Uh, my Twitter is open for DMs. I'm at Corey Gill, and uh, hit the like button on this video. Uh, subscribe so you get other hints, uh, tips, and tricks, and things I want to show, and let me know what you want to see. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I will catch you on Twitter. Take care.